Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use two computers to improve your Zoom sessions with your virtual classes. As you can see, I'm logged in as myself three times here and a fourth time on an iPhone. And that's so that we have some participants to look at and get an idea of what it's going to look like on two different computers. So to start this off, what you would do is you just start your meeting on your main computer. Let's call this one the main computer that I'm speaking directly to right here. And then on the left or right hand side, you're going to have your extra computer, which is going to serve as the computer that you're going to have all of your students show up in a grid view. So to get onto the meeting for that computer, you can just go on to zoom.us, join a meeting, and then you can put in your code. And if it, if it asks you to, you might have to put in your password. So at this point, let's just say you started your class and you have students coming in, you're letting them in from the waiting room and now you're ready to start your class and you're going to share your screen. So you're going to go to your main computer, you're going to share your screen. And as you know, it can be challenging if you have a lot of students, let's say you have 30 students, it's going to be really challenging. You can't get a view of all of those students here because you're sharing your screen here and they need to see that information. So from your point of view as a teacher, you're not going to be able to see all of your students because you only have that small strip of windows that you have room for on your screen. So this is where the second computer is going to help you do that. So on the second computer, I'm going to switch over here now to the, the second computer's view. So now I'm on my secondary computer over here on the left hand side. And what I'm going to do on this computer, since I'm a participant in the meeting, I'm not the host, I can go up here to the top to view options. And what you want to do is click on view options, go down to side by side mode click that. Now I want to mention that you can't do this on a Chromebook. You're going to need to have some other device that has this capability, but I know it's not possible on a Chromebook. So now that you're in side-by-side -side mode, if you move your cursor over to the middle here, you'll notice that there's a gray bar that pops up. And for that gray bar, you want to click and hold here, and now you'll be able to move this around. And you can shrink this panel down to the left. You can shrink that shared screen all the way down like that. That's about as small as you can get it. So what this means is now I only have four screens here that are visible but what this means is you'll be able to fit up to 30 students on the screen in the grid view here. So you could keep the secondary computer in the grid view like you're seeing here and still on your main computer you'll be able to show the students what's happening in the shared screen going over the lesson materials. Okay so finally your final step to clear up more space here on your main computer you can click on this minus right here and it will hide the thumbnails as you can see here. So now you can get this out of your way and you have a full screen visible for you as a reference as you're sharing that with the students. Now from the student point of view, remember they don't see this panel here with the different thumbnails. That thumbnail view is not visible to them. If you put it in the middle of your screen, for example, they don't, they don't see that at all. All right, well, I hope this video was helpful getting you started using two computers to improve your Zoom sessions with your students when you're doing those virtual lessons. If you have any questions or any comments, please email me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Till next time, have a great day.